Well, here we are with the new Monster Jam review. Now, as you know, one of my, not I'm not bragging or anything, but my Monster Jam reviews are probably one of the most known to the community, if anything. But a lot of you guys are doing fantastic reviews, like Jacob Turbo. I've watched your videos. They're awesome, man. And you know what? We're going to be taking a look at the Patriot today. The driver, Dan Rodoni. Oh, yeah, I'm getting back to this. But the driver, Dan Rodoni. Is he betraying his ride for this one? Alright, so here we got the review of the Patriot 10 year anniversary um, truck and um, I already opened as you can see so let's take a look. The figure, just like any other figure, but you know we'll look at it. Anyway. You can see I'm using my iPhone for the first time for my um, um, Lena Clap of One channel. Alright, so as you can see here's the Patriot and here's the figure. really focus well on YouTube capture but if I was using it on um, the regular camera it'd be a lot better but here's the Patriot um, I have the um, the Spectre Flames 2013 version I don't know if I reviewed it yet but if I haven't that video will be probably coming up soon so um, you look at the hood and you can see that big eagle Ca -ca! Ca -ca! no I'm kidding um, you got the new kind of Bill tool design, I guess you'd call it. I'm not that much. In, I haven't been into the Sign Series community in a while, so uh, you can see the wings kind of tall. Pretty cool. Let me look at the side. That's the Patriot. Can't really focus well with YouTube capture. So the next review, which I'm gonna give you a hint, Screaming Demon. I'm just gonna tell you, Screaming Demon. Oh, uh, I might use the regular camera for that. But you know, as you can see, 10 years on the back. On the side, you got the Patriot, on the same size as the other one. Right here, you got the little Monster Jam logo. And the rims are the white rims, which I really like about this truck. Now, Dan Ardoni has not rid, no, I would say, right, has not driven this truck hardly at all for 2014. It's the 10th anniversary. And he completely betrays it for this. No, I'm kidding. He didn't betray it. Um, I guess Felt. Um, you probably all know the story. Felt wanted him to just. They need another El Toro Loco driver. For the south. Or the west actually. And he ended up saying to do it. I think this is kind of like the Michael Vodders scenario. With um, the Monster Mount Rottweiler ride. Um, and who knows. This might get him in the world finals. Which I hope because. Michael Vodders is a great driver. He's been driving for about, he's been driving for as long as Dennis Anderson. And he hasn't been in the, and he's a very good driver. I mean, he's not as good as Dennis. He's a little, he's a little bit old. Um, yeah, I don't think he's as old as Dennis, but he's a really talented driver. And you know what I think the Patriot, I think that's the only reason why Dan Ragoni was in the World Finals, because he drove the El Toro Loco. would be like, hey, if you drive El Toro Loco, we'll put you in the World Finals, okay? But I really do like this truck. Um, and I don't know really how that happened. But I don't care. He still drives the Patriot, we know. Patriot isn't dead. Um, I don't know if he's going to go back to his normal Patriot. Um, oh yeah, this is my first video of 2015 too. Yeah. But I don't know if he's going to go back to his normal Patriot. Because if, if he does, then um, I'd be pretty happy. He's a really good driver with this Patriot. He did pretty good at the World Finals. But that's really it, guys. So please subscribe to Lena 551, and I'll talk to you guys later.